Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third year tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about assignment operators. Now, we've seen the equal to assignment operator earlier in this course and we use it to assign values to variables. And uh, C provides us uh, with a few variants of the equal to assignment operator that allow us to um, do our work quickly. And we're going to check out some of uh, the variations in this tutorial. As you can see using code blocks, I've uh, saved a file. I've given it the name assignment underscore operators dot C. On line one in this file, I have a header file, the stdio dot h header file. On line two, I've declared the main function. On lines three and four, I have my curly braces. So between the braces, I'm going to type in the code. And uh, the program that I'm going to make in this tutorial is going to be very simple. And uh, it's not going to do anything fancy because I just want to illustrate the operators to you. So all we're going to do is declare two variables and uh, the first one I'm going to call a both the variables are going to be integers. So to declare the variable, I'll have to type in int the keyword that you use to declare integers and then the name of the variable, which uh, as I said, I'm going to call uh, my variables a and b and then I'll give a the value 15 using the equal to assignment operator, right? On next line, I'm going to declare another variable. I'm going to call this one B. And if I want to copy the value of A to B, all I have to do is type in B equals A and then put a semicolon to terminate the statement. And the value of A will be copied to B. And if you want to check, you can do that. Use printf and uh, let's display a message first. Value of B is colon percentage D format specifier because B is an integer and uh, then type in the name of the variable after the comma symbol save the file and if i click on build, build and run you would see that in the output window i get the message value of b is 15. now if you want to do some simple mathematical calculations such as add b to a and then store the result into b or subtract a from b and then store the result into b or multiply a and b and then store the result into b if you want to do let's say if you want to add the value of B to the value of A and then store the result into B. What you'll have to do is, without using assignment operators of course, what you'll have to do is type in B first, then the equal to symbol, then B plus A. So, you know, it's not really time consuming, but there is a shorthand way of doing this, right? So that is what we're going to check out in this tutorial. That is what we want to know. So the way you do that is by typing in the addition symbol first and then the equal to symbol and then type in the name of the variable uh, that has to follow so in this case it will be a so you put a semicolon at the end and uh, if you use printf to see what has happened let's just see the value of b percentage d of course you would have to use that again and uh, that's it. If I click on build and run, you would see that on line two, I get the message value of B is 30. And that's because initially the value of A was copied to B. So B after the execution of uh, code on line seven has the value 15. And on line 10, we have this shorthand notation that assigns B the value of the result of the addition of B and A. So B is 15 and A of course is 15. We haven't messed with the value of A till now. So 30, oh sorry, 15 plus 15 is 30 and that's the value that gets stored into B. So this is a shorthand notation and you know, there are a lot of different kinds of short notations that you can use. Like uh, if you want to subtract the value of A from B and then store the result into B, then all you have to do is change the addition operator here and put the subtraction operator. So if I save the file, I click on build and run, you would see that I get the message value of B is zero. And that's because on line seven, B got the value 15, but on line 10, 15 was subtracted from 15 and then assigned to B again. So 15 minus 15 is zero. So that's the value that was put in B, right? And if I change this to uh, multiplication equals B, sorry, equals A, save the file and click on build and run, you would see that value of B is 225 because in this case, 15 was multiplied by 15 and the result was stored into B. So 15 times 15 is 225 and um, that's the value that has been stored in B. And if I change this to 
division equals a and save the file and build and run you see that I get the value I get the message value of b is 1 and that's because on line 7 b got the value 15 and on line 10 this is equivalent to b equals b divided by a so 15 was divided by 15 the result of that operation is 1 and that's the value that got stored into b so these are the four assignment operators you can you know uh, work with the modulus equals operator as well it would do as you would expect you know it would uh, <clears throat> it, it would be equivalent to b equals b percentage a right so that's what it uh, the modulus equals operator would do and you can also you know uh, have shorthand notations for the bitwise operators so you know while you are doing uh, regular work if you know you're not performing too many calculations in your program then you would not be tempted to use shorthand notations but you know this this happens quicker than uh, the regular um, operation so you know this would work quicker than b equals b divided by a so this is one advantage uh, of using the shorthand notation or assignment operators and uh, the other thing is that when you when we will discuss loops you would see that uh, in loops people use uh, these kind of things a lot right so I just uh, wanted you guys to know that uh, you can do such things so that uh, when I do it while discussing loops with you you're not alarmed and uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, informative for you and I'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something important interesting again so Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In case you have any doubts, just let me know, you know, uh, put in your messages in the comment section below and uh, I would try to answer your uh, questions and uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon.